level one, holding the guitar. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to hold the electric guitar in the most efficient way. And by doing so, we're gonna protect ourselves from unwanted strain and injury, and that's gonna help us to make the most out of our practice time by allowing us to move freely. And that's great news because we don't have to work so hard to achieve fast and effective results. So the first thing we need to do is establish a seating position. And that starts with a good chair, either that or a bar stool, just anything without arms that will allow you to move your elbows freely. Now this device here is called a footstool and it's adjustable. It goes underneath your foot. Now you don't need a footstool, but just anything that will allow you to elevate your knee higher than your hip. And that's gonna provide a solid foundation for your guitar to rest upon. It's gonna enable you to keep that guitar securely up against the side of your body with the strings facing your audience. Without the footstool, your guitar wants to slide down your leg. And look what's happening to the body of the guitar. It's now facing in the upward direction. And that can cause problems with the alignment of your picking hand and your fretting hand. We'll get more into that in just a second. Posture is important, so sit with your back straight. And we're gonna put the back of the guitar up against the side of the body with this curvature part over the top of your leg about where the thigh meets the hip. And you wanna do so in such a way that your strings are facing your audience as we mentioned earlier. Now I know some of you are gonna be tempted to turn the guitar out like this so that you can see what you're doing. But this is gonna cause problems in our wrist alignment. And so to explain that, I want you to get out your hands and make a fist. And most of you are gonna make a fist with a straight wrist. That's just the natural thing to do because, well, a straight wrist is a strong hand. And to prove that, I want you to curve the wrist and make that same fist. And already I'm getting cramps in my forearms, that hurts. And it's even worse if we bend them back this way. So much like in the way when you pull a garden hose around the corner of your house and it gets stuck, well, the same thing is happening when those tendons are having to go around the corner of your wrist and that causes weakness. So just remember that a straight wrist means a strong hand. And we're gonna translate that in our alignment on the guitar. So holding the guitar properly is going to provide a foundation to keep that wrist straight so that you have the strength to easily push those notes. Now we can talk about holding the electric guitar as it relates to the fretting hand. And that's the hand that pushes the notes. And what's important here is the neck angle. And to drive that point home, I like to perform the marble test. Now, obviously we can't put a marble on the neck, but if we could, we would put the marble at the top of the neck and we would want that marble to roll down towards our body. If it doesn't, we have a bad neck angle. And that has to do with the mobility of the elbow and the angle of our knuckles in our hands. What we want for good fretting hand alignment is for the neck of the guitar to line up with the knuckles on our hand. If it doesn't, then we have a mismatch and that's gonna cause problems in our fretting hand alignment. So by holding the guitar properly, we have that neck angle and performing the marble test will just remind you to keep the neck at this angle that I've got here. And that way we can line up those knuckles parallel to the guitar neck and maintain a strong position. Now, when it comes to picking hand alignment, you're already set up. You have your guitar securely up against the side of your body with your strings facing your audience and you've got a good neck angle. You're ready to go. And unique to electric guitar players, we like to put our palm up against this metal piece, which we call the bridge, as a platform for picking. And we do so in such a way that the forearm, not the bicep, but the forearm rest on the lip of the guitar. So you don't want this, you want this. And we do so in such a way that our palm is secure up against that bridge. And if you notice the angle from the middle of the forearm all the way to the base of the thumb to the tip of the thumb is a straight line at about a 45 degree angle. You don't want this and you don't want this. Those are too extreme. If you're holding the guitar properly, you're going to settle into that 45 degree angle with your palm up against the bridge using that bridge as a picking platform. More on that when we get into level three about picking hand position. So what if I told you you could get better without having to practice? And if you think that's unlikely, well, if you watch this video, you just did. And that's because ergonomics matters. Technique means a lot when it comes to progressing. 
There's no reason why you should have to fight your instrument when you can work with it. All right, well, in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to hold the acoustic guitar in the most efficient way. I'll see you there in level 1.2.